Okay, so in this, our second code card challenge, we are going to be creating a link. So we are going to be making a link from one web page, which is ours, to a website. Um, and the website is going to be um, the Cat Fancier Association, which is just a really big, large um, cat website with all kinds of different cat breeds and cat pictures and all kinds of fun things about cats. Um, so if you know me, you know that I like to um, might make web pages and examples about animals. And so I chose our little furry friend, uh, the cat, to do this little example for. So the very first thing that we wanna do is do our open bracket, then exclamation point, and we're gonna do our doc type. So that's open bracket, bracket, exclamation point, doc type in uppercase, then space, then HTML, and we close our bracket. And then we do HTML here, and this is telling our browser how to display or how, to, how our um, language is gonna look. So we have two lines right now. Let's do the third line. And this is our head with open bracket, the word head, and then close bracket. And do you remember what comes next? Title, our tag title. And remember, you're going to see this uh, title tag in the tab of your browser at the very tippy top of your web page. So this title is going to say, um, my cat web page. Fantastic. And let me do um, open bracket forward slash title is the end tag for title. And then open bracket uh, forward slash head is the end tag here for head. So that's everything that's going to go in my the head section of my web page. Now we're going to put the body section of my web page um, in this piece. And so that is my body tag. And let's do a heading one, so that's H1. And let's do my cat web page. Comes you. Exclamation point. That's a nice little header. And then I end my heading one. And let's do a P tag, which is open bracket, P close bracket. And this stands for a paragraph. And so let's do, let's go to my favorite website about cats. And then I'm going to put my end tag. And it is an open bracket, forward slash P, end bracket. Oops. And let's go ahead and create our link next that will shoot us over to our cat fanciers page. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and put my open bracket A, H ref equals quotes, and CodePen is so terrific that they add, if I only put one quote, they add another, and in between these quotes is where I am going to put my cat fanciers association website address. So I go over to the title right here in my browser, the Cat Fanciers Association, and I click on it. And I double click in this title um, space right here, in the bar right here, and I highlight this whole address, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash CFA, which stands for Cat Fanciers Association dot org. And then I can either right click and hit copy or on my keyboard, I can hit Control C. And then I go back into my pen and I can hit Control V or right click, paste. And there is my link to the Cat Fanciers Association. So readers who love cats will absolutely love going to this really cool website that has all kinds of crazy pictures and facts and breed information about cats. And so my, since my webpage is about cats, this is a great resource for anybody who comes to my web, my webpage. And it is another reason that my readers would read my webpage, stay on my webpage, engage with my webpage, because they'd find this um, as a resource and they want to go ahead and click on it and see the information here. So um, right now, though, I want to 
close my bracket and I want to put a sentence. Click on me to go to the Cat Fanciers website. Awesome. And then I hit my uh, forward bracket or my open bracket forward slash a close bracket. And looky, looky right here. There is my click on me to go to the Cat Fanciers website. Awesome. And then I go ahead. Okay. And so I've, um, I have my end A, my beginning A, my href, which is just href equals, and I can put any address I want right here. So let's say I hate cats. I'm allergic to cats. And I want to put um, a, a um, dog website right here. I want to put the um, a breeders website right here or the kennel club, the American Kennel Association Club uh, right here. I can put anything. And then this sentence I can change. This doesn't matter at all. It's just what my readers will click on to take them to this. So I want to go ahead and finish up my um, the rest of my tags to make my website. So I'm going to hit my um, open bracket forward slash body. And there's my end body tag. Open bracket forward slash HTML. And voila. Now let's go ahead and see if this puppy works. Click on to go to the Cat Fanciers website. Yay, I'm there. Okay, so now this is uh, code pen challenge number two. So I'm just going to click right here and I can say number two code card challenge. Okay, so I clicked right here and I just put number two code card challenge. And then I can also put my first name. Awesome. And then I can go to settings and there's my pen title. And in the pen description, I want to say a little bit about what I've learned. So um, experimenting with H1 e-tag. So H, let's be consistent. H1 tag, P tag, which is the heading one and the paragraph tag, and then um, our href or link tags. Linking to other websites make our web pages more valuable. Just a little teacher tip right there. And I hit save and close. And then this pen will live forever in my dashboard. And to go to my dashboard, I just click on my icon, dashboard. And there it is. Awesome. My cat web page welcomes you. Fantastico. Okay. Uh, thank you so much and come back for more.